Hi guys, so behind me right there are the t-shirt quilts that I am working on. And then I have my embroidery machine going in the background and I'm not done up for the day. Um, that's just how it is for today. You know, some people have glamour shots and they get all dolled up for their Facebook lives. And today is not that day for me. So today is September 13th, 2021. And I just thought I would um, jump on face or Facebook Live, sorry, YouTube Live, and just fill you in on a couple things. So the October 1st class, again, that is four weeks, it's live. And the link to the class is in the newsletter that was sent out. And it is also on my website. There are a lot of bonuses for this first round of classes. And if you are wanting to start a memory bear and sentimental sewing business or expand the business that you have to include these services, then this is the course that is geared for you. One of the bonuses is a copy of my book. And my book is usually sold for $34. And I've sold several copies for that price. So right there is one bonus. Another bonus, you will have two or three private coaching calls that you will be able to schedule with me. And that is going to save you quite a bit of money. The way I have the class structured is um, to, to give you a, the overview of what to think about when starting your business and then work your, your way through to actually having it set up along with some sewing tips and tricks that I've um, taught myself over the last several years when it comes to putting together like that, that nine piece bear, which say goodbye to those because those go in the mail tomorrow. <laughs> so they're finally done for my customer. I wanted to make a little something special for her because that is bear number 14 and that is bear number 15 that she has ordered from me. And I like to give a little something to each of my customers. And this, I talk about that in the class as well. Now for the live classes, I will be in a professional setting with really nice lighting and I will have my hair and makeup done. So <laughs> that'll be a bonus in itself. I just wanna give you some encouragement there was something said a while back and I can't not address it. I haven't addressed it. I don't believe in any of my uh, videos before, but I'm going to go ahead and address it now. And it's one of those subjects where you, if you say something, it might come out wrong. And if you don't say something, it could hurt somebody's business and in, in the future. And I really, I really debated about whether or not I should bring it up. And usually if I have to debate something or when in doubt, just don't do it, that kind of thing. But I put myself in that position. Excuse me, I have to push this button real quick. Give me just a second. <laughs> Sorry. So I put myself in the position of this individual. And I thought, well, if I was this particular person with this question, I would want somebody to address it. So I'm, going to, I'm just gonna address it now. Sewing memory bears, but we're, we'll just focus on sewing memory bears right now. When you sew memory bears as a hobby or as a volunteer, you may not be held to a professional standard of how that product turns out, all right? When you sew memory bears for a profession as your career, you people have very high expectations of what that product is going to look like. And if you don't deliver or go above and beyond, some people, some customers will let you know, some will not, but all customers will definitely tell somebody if they were happy or not happy about the service that you provided. This particular person questioned whether or not, well, they had a couple 
questions, but this particular question was, can't I just use the stuffing from the pillows? New, apparently, apparently they're new pillows, but that kind of thing. The answer would be no. I believe that you need to use brand new polyfill or bamboo stuffing for these items. And I, it never crossed my mind whether you should use new or used. I never thought anybody would question that. Uh, if you're making this memory bear for yourself, then you can use whatever you want. If you're making this as a gift or as an order, you need to use new unused polyfill stuffing. There's a lot of reasons why you should do that. Um, I'm hoping that this person that questioned that was just being silly in, in this particular moment. Um, but I kind of was like, Second thing I wanted to address, still goes in the same line, is washing the clothes. In my policies for my LLC, I'm very clear about what I at my company expects for creating these products. First, I listen to the customer and I want them to tell me what they want. What are what picture do they have in their mind about the product, the, the end result? It's one thing for the customer to have the end result in their mind. And it's your job as a business owner to get that person to paint a picture for you on what they picture this bear to look like. Most of my customers say, you design it however you design it. It's almost it's almost been a 50-50 to be honest with you. Now that I think back over all of the bears that I've made. Some of the customers have been very, very detailed on what they want this the, their bears to look like. Like which shirt would be used for which of the nine pieces of this bear. And if you're new to this, and I keep saying nine piece, let me show you what that means. I'll show you on this bear. This bear belongs to one of my daughters. Her husband is in the army and their puppy pulled this bear apart. <laughs> but this poor bear is getting patched. So yes, I do fix memory bears that maybe the family uh, puppy uh, got to and destroyed. <laughs> For instance, each ear is two pieces, front and back, right? So there's two ears, two fronts, two backs. So there's there's four pieces right there. I've had customers tell me what they wanted the front of the ears to look like, the back of the ears to look like, the inside of the arm, the outside of the arms, the front belly, the back, the back, I'm sorry, the inner, I almost said thighs, the inner legs, the outer legs, and each of the paw pads. So, um, you know, it's your job as the business owner to get them to um, tell you what they think and, and want saying all of that for a reason. In my policies, I have stated that all fabric, all clothes, uh, receiving blankets, baby clothes, fatigues, um, anything that they send to me needs to be pre-washed. Some memory bear makers do not require that. 
So if you're going to have a bear made or several bears, I would inquire if it's not on the person's fax or policy contract that they give you, ask, do you require these fabrics um, or clothing to be laundered before I send this? Reason I personally require this is for a couple of reasons. One, sanitary. Not only <clears throat> am I touching your fabrics to create your heirloom keepsake, but I also sew for other individuals and I use the same sewing machine, the same serger, the same embroidery machine, the same scissors and everything. Yes, I sterilize everything for every customer. Everything is wiped down, everything. Antibacterial wipes, non-bleach. Don't use bleach. <laughs> and please use, disclaimer, please use your own judgment on your products, what you, whatever cleaning products you can use. I also use hand sanitizer for my hands. Okay? I do that. But I also want, I would want my customers to want something nice and clean in return, right? And some customers want the fabric to smell like the, their loved one. And I understand that. And I actually respect that. When my youngest daughter passed away, I did not want to wash her clothes. I just didn't. But I made myself do that due to bacteria. All right. I used the baby soft um, laundry soap, which is called Dreft. So it still smelled like Hannah without the bacteria on the clothes. Once we put our clothes on our body, whether, you know, even after we have showered, we start, our skin has, you know, bacteria and oils that can cause stink and um, ruin our fabric over time. You wouldn't want that for your memory bear, right? You wouldn't want your memory bear to be, you know, harbor germs. Okay, so if your loved one that passed had a favorite perfume or cologne or fabric softener, right, then there is a way to replicate that scent in your memory bear without compromising the safety and health of you or the business owner who is making that bear for you. Uh, hopefully that clears up some, some questions that I have seen online. I, again, all of my customers have been very, very great when it came to laundry, pre-laundering the clothes that they sent. They packaged everything beautifully. It arrived safely, even during a terrible storm, um, not last October, but in October of 2019. No, oh my goodness, it was last year. Oh my gosh, yeah, it was during a big virus last year. Not only were we battling the big virus, if you know what I'm saying, if you're watching this in the future, remember I'm talking in 2021 now. So the big virus of 2020, I received two customers orders. One customer sent one huge box, I mean, huge box, huge. She had five bears made out of, but she sent 12 pieces of clothing because she wanted to mix and match, okay? The second customer sent me five boxes, big boxes of clothing to make 16 bears, okay? They pre-laundered all of that. They packaged it beautifully. I walked them through how to package and mail them to me. There was never any damage done to the boxes. Once you mail a box, you can get free insurance through the UPS. I'm pretty sure FedEx does that, but you will want to check on that yourself. Never had an issue. Never not sending, not receiving the clothes and not sending the finished bears back. All right. We package my company, me. I am my company. <laughs> I do this on my own right now. 
Um, I package everything with the thought or the with thinking that if something, if it were to, if there were to be rain or snow, you know, weather related issues, that it would not damage the finished product. And thank the Lord, honestly, and I'm not being sarcastic. I really do thank the Lord. He has allowed my customers to receive their products without any issues. And um, I've received their clothes without any issues and they've received their products. So I didn't really want to make a very long video and it's already after 15 minutes. So I do apologize for that. If you have questions, you can reach me at stephaniegrahams.com. And hopefully I will see you next time I decide to go live with or without my hair and makeup done. All right. Bye guys.